Hi. So, earlier today I filmed a video where I was talking about my January 2021 purchases and I mentioned in that video that in 2021 if I want to buy a bottle of perfume something that's in my perfume collection has to go. So I just don't have the room really is what it comes down to but also I don't want to amass lots and lots of perfumes that I don't wear. So I am being I am trying to be really really ruthless and if I'm not wearing something it's gone and I don't care if it's discontinued and I can never get it again if I'm not wearing it then the fact that it's discontinued is uh, a moot point really I have four fragrances here which I I think there's only one in this four that I was in two minds about for a little while and now I feel comfortable that I'm happy to get rid of it but the other three were actually surprisingly easy uh, choices to make. So, and one thing you might notice about these bottles is that the three that I felt were the easiest to decide to move on are actually full bottles. So uh, they were blind buys and they did not work out. So let's get into it. I'll start with the one that was the hard decision to make first, and this is Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. I just talked about this in another video where I said that I didn't really get the whole molecule hype, and I still don't. I mean, it's not a bad perfume, and obviously I've worn it, but I also think it maybe wasn't worth the amount of money I paid for it. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought the little bottle, but I don't think we had, I don't think they had any of the smaller bottles of this when I bought it. Um, look, I have worn it a fair bit, obviously, but I just feel that it just isn't how, it just smells a bit chemically to me these days. Before, when I first bought this, I thought it smelled really fresh and really woody. And now I'm not getting that. I feel like it just smells really synthetic because it is. So yeah, it's it's going. It's out. The next one, I can I can almost hear the gasps of horror uh, before I even mention the name of this one, but um, this is Lavender's Trianon by Maison Longcom. I know it's been discontinued or rumored to be discontinued. Is it really discontinued? I don't know. I know it's hard to get. And because it's hard to get, I jumped on the bandwagon when it became available in Australia. I, I bought a bottle without even trying it and I regret that. <laughs> I tried to like it when I first put it on. I sprayed it on and I thought, ah, oh, it's not really how I want to smell. But uh, I tried to give it a few goes and it just, is not something that I reach for. The one thing, the problem is that, so why am I not reaching for it? Well, uh, it's too sweet for me, I think. It, it has a similarity to Mongolan, which I really like. And maybe, you know, Mongolan is a, is a beautiful vanilla lavender scent as well. But there is something in here that just doesn't smell right. It, um, to me, you know, it's just, and I think it maybe gets amped up on my skin, but there's something really sharp and um, pungent about the lavender, maybe the lavender that's in here. And it's just, yeah, uh, it's just not my favorite. So uh, it's not bad, but I think I'm, Particularly as my tastes are clearly changing at the moment, I'm really loving vintage style fragrances and they have a much softer edge to them. There's no sharp edges. Um, and even when there's civet or something in them, that gives it a bit of depth that doesn't make it like super sharp and pungent. I, I don't know, I, there is just, maybe it's too modern for me now. I'm, I'm turning into, I'm getting, I really am getting older. 
<laughs> and now I just want old style fragrances as well to match my personality. Maybe I'm too serious. Maybe this is too much fun for me. I don't know. But in any case, that, that's going. Uh, the next one is another Maison Lancôme fragrance. Oh, and this one is Rose, Parfait de Roses. This is one that I just, I cannot, oh, even smelling it out of the bottle, it gives me a headache just instantly. Um, it is really, really sweet, um, sugary sweet with the same sort of um, pungent, sharp syntheticness that I get from this one. And it's just, it's overpowering and it just, it goes straight to my brain and immediately starts pounding. So again, another blind buy. Uh, I don't know why I blind bought this one because I think this one is still readily available, but it is just so not me at all whatsoever. You know, I think part of this is that, again, these aren't bad perfumes, right? Yeah, but I think the more perfume I wear, um, and as I get older too, listen to me, I sound like I'm turning 80 or something. But as I get older, I just don't want, I don't feel like I want really loud fragrances. And there are fragrances in my wardrobe that are still loud and I still wear them, but I wear them very sparingly. You know, I don't spray them a lot. Um, I just want to smell myself. <laughs> I don't necessarily, but I, I, I want to do so in a, in a quiet way. Um, and maybe the COVID thing has really had a lot to do with that because, you know, I haven't been wearing fragrances to, you know, impress the people around me. I've been, my choice in fragrances for the day have purely been uh, based upon my own, you know, what my own wants and likes and needs at the time. So it's been a very reflective process and I think that's now reflected in how I want to wear my fragrances. And so wearing, so I think that what I'm getting at is I think the thing that makes these very loud and pungent and headachey for me is what makes them project really well. And so I think that's partly you know, something that would go along hand in hand with um, all fragrances that, you know, are, are pretty loud and project. So um, that's my theory anyway. I don't know if that's accurate or correct, but in any case, I feel that that is uh, why some people really love these because they spray them on themselves and they can smell themselves very, very easily. And it's not necessarily that people who want to wear loud fragrances necessarily want everyone to smell them. Um, but it's, you know, it's part of that whole thing where people, you know, they want to, they just want to be able to smell themselves without having to, you know, sniff or they don't want to just get wafts. They just want a constant sort of they just want to smell their perfume constantly and there's nothing wrong with that but that, that's just not how I want to wear my perfume anymore so and maybe that'll change again one day who knows who knows okay so the last one is also a Maison Lancôme one <laughs> and this is L'Autre Oud this is a rose oud fragrance and it is a spicy rose oud fragrance and I still like this you know, I don't dislike it at all. It wasn't a hard decision to make to declutter this one because I have so many rose oud fragrances. Uh, if I'm going to go for a rose oud type of fragrance, I think uh, I still really love oud bouquet. In fact, I think that's probably the only Maison Lancôme fragrance that I really, really love. And I think I'm just going to give up on buying Maison Lancôme fragrances because I feel like every time I buy one they just it doesn't it doesn't spark joy in me it doesn't spark you know a reaction a physical or uh, emotional reaction in me to make me want to wear them uh, but Oud Bouquet does I love that I could get lost in that fragrance and 
I would be a very happy lady. Bewitching Yasmin is another one, which is kind of like a rose oud, but it's got you know some other notes in there. I'm still familiarizing myself with that, even though I have a full bottle. And I also have Cairo by Penhaligans, which is one of my favorite rose oud fragrances. So why I don't need this one. I already have so many and this is one that I'm not reaching for as much as I used to because I now have those other fragrances. Um, so this one used to satisfy a less sweet uh, craving for Rose Oud. So Oud Bouquet has obviously got that praline note. It is very sweet. Uh, and when I don't want the, that sweetness, it doesn't work for me. So, I, so now I have a couple of other fragrances that satisfy that need, but without the sweetness, whereas, uh, and, and this used to be that for me, but now I have a couple of others that I like more. So I'm going to declutter this one. So by now you are aware that there was a late addition to the fragrances that I purchased in January, 2021. And so consequently, I have to declutter one bottle from my wardrobe if I am to stick with my I guess manifesto for 2021 and that is that I am going to try to not grow my perfume collection in 2021. So what's going is probably not going to be that much of a shock to you if you've watched any of my recent videos but it is Valentina by Valentino. Now I don't dislike this perfume, this perfume has served me very well, this is my third bottle and I still had a decent dent in that. Clearly I did not get through the whole thing though, but I think I've just had my time with it. I don't desire to wear it or reach for it anymore. And I did wear it for several years straight. So um, I'm happy to let this one move along. This is a fruity floral fragrance, a little bit musky too. It's got a strawberry note in it, which to be honest, when I first read that there was a strawberry note I was not at all interested in it but uh, a sales assistant convinced me to try it and I did really enjoy wearing it. I found it to be very pretty but also not too juvenile. Uh, so I yeah like I said I thought it was a wonderful scent. It was really great for every day and um, now it's going but I'm okay with that. So there you have it. That is the last bottle that I'll be decluttering from my wardrobe in January 2021. Not to say that I can't declutter more, of course, but, but for the purposes of making room for the new bottles that have come in, uh, this is the last bottle that is going. So I will now get back to the regular scheduling of this video and I will see you on the other side. Bye. So there you have it. I'm, I'm, almost afraid to hear what people are going to say about my choices, <laughs> about my life choices, but uh, feel free, bring it on. Tell me what you think um, if you disagree with me, but at the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but don't be offended. As I said, they're not bad fragrances. It's just that uh, the, it's just not how I want to smell anymore. So it's time for them to go. All right, well, that is the end of my January 2021 roundup in terms of what I've bought and what I've decluttered. And hopefully I can just now get on with reviewing some individual fragrances. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.